Okay, hello, this is Amigo Japan. Now I'm going to teach you, if you're a novice, how to use different kinds of loops in Scratch. Okay, so first let's start with this loop. Uh, I'm going to double click it. And as you can see, Scratch went around and made a square. Now, let's see exactly why he made a square. First we have pen down, which makes Scratch draw a line when he moves. Then we said repeat 4, which repeats this block of code four times. Then we told Scratch to move 100, I guess, pixels to, the, to whatever direction he's pointing at, which was to the right. Then we told him to turn 90 degrees, which means down, so he went he went from here to here, then he turned right, then he turned right, then this repeats again, so it comes back here. It moves 100 pixels down, then he turns 90 degrees, and again he goes forward, he moves forward 90 pixel, 10, no, 100 pixels, then he turns 90 degrees, then he moves 100 pixels again and turns again. And that's repeat that's repeated four times so no matter it it four times repeating this action four times will draw a square okay so let me clear the screen okay now I'm going to show you how nested loops work uh, first let me run my nested loop down here Okay, now you can see that Scratch drew a line, made a square, then turned a little bit, drew a line, made another square, turned a little bit, drew a line, made another square, turned a little bit, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now let's take a look at this loop. It says repeat six. So repeat six times everything inside here. So first it says turn 30 degrees which means turn a little bit to the right then move 50 steps so it moves 50, 50 pixels then it repeats then it has another repeat statement inside so it repeats this four times so this was pretty much the same as our square except it's a smaller square only 30 pixels only 30 pixels square so it makes small squares and each time it comes back to this, each time it draws a square, it comes back here and turns 30 degrees, so it makes the line a little bit more curved, and it makes a, another line. So if you repeat this, if you repeat this action many times, it will make a pretty nice pattern. Okay, let me refresh, get Scratch back to where it was. Okay, now let me show you my last example. Now this one is a little bit more complicated. Uh, okay, so in this one, after pen down, I immediately tell, well, let, let's run it first. Now, as you will notice, this one made a line, made a square, made another line, made a, a bit, little bit bigger square, made another line, made a bigger square, and then at the end there's a pretty big square here. Let me do it again so that you can see it, that the square is getting bigger each time. Could you see it? I'll do it again more so that you can see it. Yeah. Uh, wrong direction. Okay, let's do it there. Well, Anyway, we're crashing against the board of the screen, which is a problem. But anyway, let's take a look at this one. So, as you can see, it made it made bigger and bigger squares. Now, this is a pretty bad this is a pretty long program, but I'll try to step you through it. So, the first thing it it puts the pen down, turns 15 degrees so that scratch is not facing exactly straight sets a variable 
called a to 4 then we have a forever loop this means this will repeat forever now it changes the value that it it changes the value of a by 1 which means it adds 1 to a which was 4 so now it's 5 then it sets b the variable b to a times 10 so if if a is 5 then b is now 50 then it 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 checks to see if a is equal to 10 um if if a is equal to 10 then it stops which means the program ends else or otherwise it basically does the other program we already did except it it makes the squares except this time i i told it to move b number of steps and since b is 8 multiplied by 10 it it starts to make a bigger and bigger bigger and bigger line longer and longer lines and bigger and bigger cube uh, not cubes but squares i'm sorry if i said cubes before okay so yeah that's it for my scratch example um i will soon i will soon very soon make another example in the 3D programming language, 3DPL, my language, and there you can actually see how this code in Scratch can be converted to more code that's more like the C programming language or JavaScript. And let's take a look at that when I finish it. Okay, bye for now.